What is up? If you're watching this, that means you got another day. Guys, something is happening in the YouTube world if you're trying to get subscribers. I figured out a secret. There is something happening right now on all three platforms, and if you don't do something about it literally this week, you're gonna miss out. It's about that time again. All right, so let's talk about YouTube first. We're gonna do YouTube, Instagram, and then TikTok. YouTube has a feature right now called Shorts. A lot of people don't really know about this. I have about 11 Shorts uploaded right now. Check this out. In the last 10 days, I have pulled over 188,000 views on YouTube alone just from those Shorts. To just give you perspective on like how crazy that is for me, my vlogs average from 500 to 1500 views per vlog, and my Shorts seem to be getting no less than a thousand views a piece, sometimes as many as a hundred thousand plus. And they're bringing subscribers. A couple questions that people are asking me was one, how do you upload a short? Two, is it monetized? Have you guys ever had a sibling where you were doing something cool and then the sibling wanted to be a part of that so they copied you almost exactly? Yeah, that's basically what YouTube did to TikTok. So TikTok was the new kid on the block and had everyone's attention, so both Instagram and YouTube had to do something about it. So what did YouTube do? They came out with YouTube Shorts. How you upload a short is you shoot a video on one of these guys here, keep it in raw vertical format, upload it straight either to your iPhone or any, any device really, as long as it's shot in native vertical format that the phone shoots it in, and it will automatically call it a short. It's gotta be less than a minute long. Mine are typically anywhere from five to 15 seconds, like the size of a TikTok. Put hashtag shorts in the title, and you're basically good to go. No tags, no lengthy description. I don't even think you gotta put a location tag in there for it to matter. Even the thumbnail doesn't really matter. I haven't even figured out yet if you can pick a thumbnail. I've just been slapping raw videos up, uploading them to YouTube, calling them something, putting hashtag shorts in, and bam, YouTube shows it to like 50,000 people. A bunch of you are getting hung up on whether or not this is monetized or not. And at the end of the day, why do you have a YouTube channel? Is it to just make money or is it to tell a story or spread a message or build an audience? Because for me, the only thing I care about more than anything is how many subscribers do I have? How many people are watching the content? And if my shorts are bringing in new subscribers, which they are, then this is absolutely worth it. Especially if it only takes you like 10 seconds to make a short. My most popular short right now is about across 130,000 views in less than a week. And all it is is me filling up a Chevelle at a gas pump. It's four, five seconds long, something like that. And it's bringing in new subscribers every single day. And also a lot of haters because I called the gas tank in the Chevelle secret and a lot of boomers got really upset about that in the comments more engagement for me. Now keep in mind YouTube Shorts is still in beta, so the strategy on this is changing by the day. Right now, YouTube Shorts are accounting for over 88% of the views on my entire YouTube channel across the hundreds of videos that have already been uploaded. So that should tell you how overpowered this feature is right now. YouTube really wants you to use Shorts and get excited about it so you spend less time on TikTok and Instagram. And how overpowered is this exactly? Well, let's just say some of the major, major YouTubers like Mr. Beast or Logan Paul are getting passed in monthly views right now by brand new channels because they're taking advantage of shorts. Now I was talking to one of my YouTube guru friends last week on Clubhouse and he told me that there's a new strategy to also get the best bang for your buck out of shorts and that is to create a second YouTube channel. So let's just say I call it Bilko Shorts and I upload my shorts on that channel and put in the description of each short the link to a full length video that's related to that short on my main channel. So YouTube's algorithm basically says, hey, there's a channel out here or a bunch of videos out here that's sending traffic to Will Collette's YouTube channel. Will Collette must have some good content and it'll boost engagement on my main channel as well as the shorts channel. It doesn't know that I own both. Now, if you're like me and you don't really want to manage two YouTube channels, that's okay. You can still get a lot of ROI just from uploading shorts straight on your regular YouTube channel. Now, if you're also like me, you probably are a little taken back by the idea of having some crummy vertical videos mixed in with all your high quality content and it messes up the look of the feed. At the end of the day, what's the point of your YouTube channel? Keep asking yourself that. To bring in subscribers and views, right? If this strategy works, who cares what your feed looks like? If it's bringing in subs, keep doing it. And that's pretty much the gist of YouTube Shorts. Second thing, Instagram Reels. Guys, if you're not doing Instagram Reels right now, you are missing out. I have grown nearly 5,000 followers on Instagram in the last 90 days purely from Reels. And if you take advantage of it and really buckle down and upload like three Reels a day and use the right hashtags, you can be like my boy Estefan. I'll put his handle right here. Three or four months ago, he only had 6,000 followers. Now he's approaching 60,000. Organic reach, no paid ads, no giveaways, nothing. 
just Reels. And the best part about Instagram Reels is anyone that follows you on Instagram Reels counts as a follow on your main Instagram page. Again, if you're like me and you didn't want to mess up your pretty little feed because my whole feed is just curated high quality photos of models and cars and I didn't want my stupid face in it of my like low quality BTS Reels being added to the feed, here's the workaround, okay? This is, this is my secret that I stole from Estefan, okay? Upload a reel to your feed. You have to put it in the feed. I did like six reels in a row that got less than 10 views, literally. Not doing this. If you don't put it in your feed, Instagram throttles all of the engagement. Put it in your feed and let it sit there for a couple days. Uh, if you go to my Instagram, at Bilko, you'll see the first row on IG is mostly reels. And once they reach the second row, I just click the three dots in the top right of the post and say, remove from grid. It doesn't delete the reel, it simply just removes it from your profile grid. By the time that it reaches the second row, if I'm posting once per day, that means the reel has been up for two or three days, which means that it's pretty much run its course on engagement anyway. So that way I don't have a huge grid of reels. Now, more power too if you wanna keep a huge grid of reels. It works great for Estefied. I gotta sell my photography business, so I gotta keep my feed clean. So the first row seems to be just fine with keeping it with reels and make the rest of your post those nice fancy photos that you like to upload. Right now, I'm averaging anywhere from 2,000 to 10,000 views per reel with the occasional one going viral hitting anywhere from 50,000 to 900,000 views on Instagram. Okay, so that's enough about Reels. Now you've got TikTok. If you upload a video on TikTok, there's a couple strategies that I learned recently, again, from my boy Estefan and a couple other people af after talking to other creators about what works for them. Get a niche. If I upload anything on my page that's not car content, TikTok says, you suck and we're not showing this to anybody. Make sure you have hashtags related to that niche. I typically only post anywhere from like three to five hashtags. I don't want a ton of them because it fills up the screen and it just looks messy and those videos don't do well anyway, usually. Also, be the first to comment on it. Drop two or three comments in there with open-ended questions that people can answer because it's just gonna drive that dialogue in the comment section for you. There is a way for you to only shoot once and upload on all three of these platforms just like I'm doing because it's a lot of work. I stopped carrying my vlog camera everywhere and I started carrying this and I will shoot a raw video on this just in the camera mode and then take that raw video and upload it to TikTok, attach titles and music, etc., to it. And then once I post the TikTok, I have the settings in TikTok for it to automatically download that TikTok to my phone. I immediately hop over to Reels and I click camera roll and I upload the TikTok straight to Reels. I don't touch anything on it as is. I put the same caption on Reels that I just put on TikTok. I have a custom set of hashtags that I've been using for every single Reel post. I haven't diversified the at all and it seems to be working just fine as long as they're within my niche and then I post those in the description of the reels post and then just send it then I take that same raw video and if I don't care about monetization or getting flagged or anything like that I guess you can upload it straight as a TikTok to YouTube shorts it will still accept it as a short but if you're like me and you want to monetize things I've been trying to stray away from that and just upload raw content and wait until YouTube gives me the tools to add titles and things like that but at the end of the day YouTube shorts doesn't seem to care if the if the video content is fire it doesn't really matter if it has titles or hashtags or any fancy things on it because like I said my best performing video right now is literally filling up an old muscle car and it's six seconds long. I have about 50,000 followers on TikTok and my views are minimum like 2,000 with a lot of them hitting well over half a million on a regular basis. So anybody that says they're in TikTok jail, follow this strategy, it seems to be working for me. One more trick since you watched to the end of the video and I love you guys. If you upload a video to TikTok and you're trying to come up with hashtag ideas, if there is a promoted hashtag, which is the suggested one with like a little blue thumb next to it. So uh, like ASOS, for example, did one. It was like ASOS Fashion Week. Put that in because it just helps. I don't know why, it just does. Just do it. All right, that's pretty much for this episode, guys. Please take advantage of these three strategies right now because you can grow your YouTube and your Instagram and your TikTok so freaking fast right now. And every day that you don't post is a day that you're missing out. I'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. I might lie, I, 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 to you just to get through the night I, 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 with you. Hope that's all right. No, you lie.